It's been one year since the deadly shooting at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, Florida that claimed 49 lives. Vigils have been held throughout the Orlando area to honor the victims in what is the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. Gunman, gunman Omar Mateen opened fire inside the nightclub and swore allegiance to ISIS on a phone call to 911. Kenneth Craig has more on how Orlando is still coming together a year after the tragedy. For children. Capri Smith brought her two children here for the remembrance ceremony at the Pulse nightclub. She wants them to understand that Orlando is in this together. We're going to come together to celebrate lives. A community that's going to shout out to everybody around us that we need to love, love, love. Today marks one year since Omar Mateen pledged allegiance to the Islamic State and killed 49 people at the gay nightclub. This morning's ceremony included speakers and prayers. May our hearts remain open. And a reading of the names. Javier Jorge Reyes, Jean Carlos Nieves Rodriguez. Orlando has transformed the site of its darkest night into something beautiful, a place for tributes and messages of love. Marcel Robustelli was struck by the sense of optimism. It's rainbow tarp on the fence and it's, you know, it's, it's a lot of love messages. It's a lot of, you know, hugs, not hate. City Commissioner Patty Sheehan says one of the tragedies here is the loss of a safe haven for the city's vibrant LGBT community. This is the kind of club and the kind of place I wanted to see in my district where you didn't have to be segregated by being gay or being Hispanic or being African American, where everybody could be together and be friends. Today, at least, that's what they're doing, coming together as friends, mourning the past, and looking ahead to the future. This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Prove I'm all right song. And Kenneth Craig joins me now from outside Pulse Nightclub in Orlando, Florida. Kenneth, interesting, just that last thing we were hearing about, this idea for a safe space and people wanting that, and that was so destroyed there. You've been in the area for a few days now. Do they really have that feeling back that they do have a safe space again? I think they very uh, much have that feeling back, and they want to take back something that they thought was taken from them uh, that night. Uh, it is a very painful day, a very difficult day for a lot of people uh, here in the city and who were affected by this tragedy uh, to get through. It is easy to forget what happened here exactly a year ago today. It is easy to move on if you were not part of this community. But coming back here, uh, and I was here exactly a year ago when this happened, uh, the pain today is very much as real as it was uh, a year ago. A lot of people who I've spoken with have said, uh, I cannot believe it has been a year. But what is really remarkable is to see how this community has come together, how this community has taken um, something so painful, the worst day in this city's history, and turned it into a beautiful celebration of life. Up and down the roads here in the city, you'll see rainbow flags. Uh, there are rainbow flags on people's homes. You walk into every single business around here, people are wearing shirts that say Orlando United uh, and one uh, pulse. It really is, uh, they, they, they've transformed something so dark and so terrible into, into really a celebration of life. And that is how they would like to carry out today to honor the 49 people who were killed and remember the legacies uh, they leave behind. Yeah, you mentioned uh, later today, we've, we've got more things planned. What can you tell us about some of the things that are coming up to honor those lives? Well, this really is a full day affair, and it began very early this morning, about 1, 2 o'clock here, uh, right uh, at the nightclub. That was a private event uh, for family members and survivors here at the club. Uh, not long after that, early this morning, we had another event uh, not too long ago with a uh, number of community leaders. There were prayers. There was a reading of the 49 names. People behind me have been gathering all morning long by uh, what appears to be the hundreds. Later this evening, about 7 o'clock, there will be a very large uh, ceremony at the uh, city's Lake Eola right downtown with city officials and performers and once again songs and they will again read all 49 names of the people who were killed here at the Pulse nightclub. Kenneth Craig outside the Pulse nightclub in Orlando. Kenneth, thank you for being with us.